Hello everyone and welcome to the third app submission tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how we can register for an app ID for whatever application we want to submit. So an app ID is basically Apple's way of registering your specific application on the App Store and then on your system. So basically anytime there's let's say an update you want to issue an update to your application as you probably will then basically you're going to want to have this specific app ID that references your specific application. And so when you push an update through the App Store, then Apple knows which application it's specifically updating on your system because there's only one app ID per application. So every app on the App Store has its own unique identifier. And that's basically how you can identify which application is yours. Or yeah, you get the idea. So with that, all we have to do to register for an app ID is go to our developer certificate utility. And under this overview, you can see you can register for your Mac app ID right here, or you can go to the app ID section as well, and there's an option in there. But we're going to go ahead and register our Mac app ID here. And you can see there's really only two fields that we have to fill in. It's actually quite simple. So all we have to do is say some kind of name or description for our application or our app ID. And this will just help you, you know, identify which application is yours. In this case, I'm just going to say test because I don't, I don't actually want to create this app ID. But, um, you know, for whatever you want to do or whatever you're making, just make sure you're making it clear enough what application this app ID is referencing so that, you know, when you go through your list of app IDs, you know what you're actually looking at. So anyway, name or description of your app basically goes there. Then the bundle identifier is the same as your CF bundle identifier, which is your bundle identifier in Xcode. So if you go over to Xcode 4 and under whatever project you're working on, you select the project and select your target, and you'll see that your bundle identifier for your application is right there. And that's what you want to copy in to the field over here. So ours for this example is com.myName, and again, this is whatever, uh, when you create your Xcode project, uh, you can basically, you know, you specify the company name and then the name of the application. And it's probably worth noting that you can change the company name if you want, which can be whatever you want really. So if I wanted to put my last name in there, uh, you know, you could type that in. And if you want to change the name of the app ID, what you're going to want to do is just edit it right here. And oops, that's not what I meant. Click, there we go. And you can see that you can change the text of the uh, Xcode project, and that will in turn change the name of the app ID. So that's uh, what you're going to want to do for changing uh, that app ID right there. And you can also change it in the info section if you override this section right here and put it as whatever you want. But anyway, it's just a good idea uh, just to change the name of your Xcode project, and then that will override whatever your name of your app is for your bundle identifier. But anyway, that's all you really have to do is your company name and the name of your app. And that's what you want to submit under your bundle identifier. So say com.lucas.test, and of course you want to be specific when you're actually making this to whatever your app name is, like I just showed you. And um, that's basically all you really have to do. Now, one thing I really want to note, though, is once you create these app IDs, you keep these app IDs forever. So if you're just, you know, playing around on this and you, you know, accidentally create one, you can't get rid of it. And basically, Apple's reasoning probably behind this is so that, you know, somebody can't come along and steal an application ID from you know somebody before so um, once you create your app ID in this it's locked into your account forever so make sure you know you actually have an app that you're going to submit before you start playing around with this and then um, once you've got that you know just put your company name and your app name in once you're done with that you hit continue and then when you're done you hit submit and then that will create an app ID so I'm not going to actually submit it though, because I don't want to submit an app ID like that. But once you go and you hit submit, you'll be brought to the app IDs page here. And you can see by default, we have this wildcard app ID, which you can just use for uh, general stuff. But um, anyway, that's not the point. The point is, is that you make an app ID when you're done of whatever you called. And if we made the test one, it would be called test. And you can configure this app ID by hitting the configure button or 
also hitting the name of the app. And you can see that you can enable iCloud Game Center and Apple Push notifications as well. And uh, there might be more for under iOS, but since this is Mac OS, this is, these are the options that we have here. And you can enable whatever you want uh, just by hitting the check boxes. And uh, I'm not gonna talk about uh, what all these will do in this tutorial, because this is really just about app IDs. But anyway, you get the idea. That is how you create an app ID. And uh, anyway, we'll continue with uh, this series in the next tutorial. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I'm sure you got something out of it. But anyway, if you have any questions on this, just leave them in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the upcoming tutorials.